Hola, buenos dias from Buenos Aires. Today we are going to walk around uh, one of the most interesting places in Buenos Aires, which is located in Chacarita neighborhood and it's called Chacarita Cemetery. This cemetery is the largest cemetery in Argentina. Uh, however, it's not as popular as uh, Recoleta Cemetery. Chacarita Cemetery is 20 times bigger than Recoleta. So let's see what's going on here. The existence of this uh, cemetery doesn't have a very good reason and it all started in uh, 1871 due to the yellow fever. Uh, and the reason was that of course there already was a Recoleta cemetery, however it was not big enough. Uh, that's why they had to find a new place uh, which uh, ended up to be Chacarita cemetery. Chacarita Cemetery was chosen as a place for famous Argentinian artists, musicians uh, and even uh, famous uh, Juan Perón was buried here until he was relocated back to his home in 2006. Juan Perón is a very, very important figure in Argentinian history uh, and he was a very important political figure here and he also served as a president of Argentina. The trees and mausoleums with incredible architecture and atmosphere will make you feel really strange, uh, uncomfortable and excited at the same time. Uh, this is definitely one of the most fascinating places uh, that is worth your time in Buenos Aires. Uh, we are not huge fans of, of cemeteries definitely, however these beautiful tiny streets uh, with golden mausoleums, uh, tall trees and silence will uh, make you feel really calm for some reason but also scared uh, at the same time if you are a tango fan you probably know who carlos gardel is but carlos gardel was argentina's most famous musician and a tango legend worldwide uh, he died very really young in a plane uh, accident in colombia and back then it took a lot of effort to bring him back to uh, argentina and the only good option back then was the boat. However, in order to do that, they had to relocate him to New York first. Uh, at the end, the whole process lasted for one year. Uh, however, uh, during the uh, funeral, uh, the process was very messy, which was crowded. There were really a lot of people, and that's really crazy. Uh, he never had any children or anyone who would take uh, care after his grave. Uh, however, he had so many fans that everything you see there right now, it's, uh, it's thanks to his fans. Another very important person uh, for Argentina is Jorge Newbery, which you have probably already heard about as one of the airports in Buenos Aires are called after his name. Uh, Jorge Newbery was an engineer and an aviator, the first person to fly across the River Plate in 1912. He died suddenly in 1914 when preparing for his first attempt to fly across Andes Mountain. Uh, this is a mountain range which is located uh, between Argentina and Chile, but it's also extending across seven countries. He borrowed a plane uh, from a friend who warned him that it had some issues with the wing and unfortunately the plane ended up crashing. This monument at his grave is Icarus with his face. It's a tragic figure from Greek mythology that flew too close to the sun and it led to his death. The rock he is laying at uh, represents this mountain range Andes. Down into the earth below the ground of Chacarita Cemetery are located catacombs, uh, which we are going to explore right now. 
This place is a gem of 20th century architecture with a construction style brutalism which was very famous back in 1950s.